back to my channel. For today's video, I want to share with you how I customize and organize my iPad Pro for a productive and less stressful new year. Because what better time than the new years to refresh your life, your rooms, and of course, even your favorite gadgets. So the first step is to put out all my apps here and delete every app that I find unnecessary. I honestly don't like that they placed all the apps in this area since I tend to forget some apps that could have been useful in past projects and it doesn't organize the apps the way I want it to so it's just consuming unnecessary space. I actually tried to look for instructions on how to remove this function but I failed so I'll be doing it manually for now but if you have any tips on how to please do leave it in the comments below. Now that you have all your apps in one place, it's time to pull it out all over again into the home screen. Since I find it easier to navigate through my apps if I could see it all in one place. After that is to organize them into groups. There are different ways to organize your apps. One is by color, by function, or how you use them. I personally prefer it to be organized by its function. Like for example, all social media apps must go in one folder while all drawing apps goes into another folder. It would help you navigate around the device and quickly find whatever you need. But as always, do you do what is more comfortable for you? I also like to name my folders with emojis to make it cuter but at the same time, you can name it with whatever words you want. It could be a funny name or again, its functions, it's your choice. After that comes the refreshing part, we can start deleting the NSA apps that you find useless to save some storage and battery life as well since if you didn't know, the iPad continues to operate the apps even if it's not in use. So yeah, do let me know if I deleted a good one or if you can suggest a nicer app for me to try, make sure to leave it in the comments as well because I always enjoy trying new apps. So finally, for the best part, we get to customize our iPads. When choosing for photos, my go-to is always Pinterest. I like to compile photos first in a folder to know the aesthetic that I want to go for. So for this year, or maybe just for this month, I went for the royal core aesthetic in beige to give it a more subtle look when I add more and more widgets. Honestly, Apple finally adding widgets is definitely the best upgrade in my opinion. And when you finally chosen your background, it's time to customize with widgets. I'm using Widget Smith and Shortcuts for mine since it's free and it was the easiest one to understand. <laughs> And for the final step that I forgot to include a clip on, but this is me saying it. Um, when I'm done customizing my iPad, now it's time to organize my apps. I separate my creative apps with my productivity apps and my entertainment apps in, a, in separate home screens to avoid distractions when I'm trying to do one thing. If so, if your priority is to keep your iPad for productive use, then you would want to have all productive apps shown in one home screen, while your games or social media apps would go in a in the farthest p 
page or home screen of your iPad or you know just delete them all together that's a good tip as well And with that, here is the final look of my iPad Pro for 2023. I just love how elegant and clean it looks. I, I can definitely see myself making use of my iPad more this year. So if you want a more in-depth what's on my iPad Pro or what's on my iPhone, please leave it in the, in the comments below. But technically, that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and find my tips useful. But before signing off, as promised, here are my top 5 apps for productivity and creativity. As always, stay safe, stay creative, stay you. Virtual hugs and kisses. Bye friends. Thank you.